We are back once again, guys, with another Q&A for this month of October 2019. This is one of the monthly segments that I do with the channel members who are able to ask me a bunch of questions, anything they want actually, it doesn't need to be sneaker related, and they are able to drop those in our community tab for channel members only. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, check out that join button down below. Basically, if you're a channel membership, you get a whole bunch of different perks, one of them being these monthly Q&As where you guys can ask questions and be featured on the channel if your question is picked. Additionally, there's other perks as well, like discounts off the web store, cool little membership badges next to your name, down below in the comments, which I think is really dope. It shows how long you've been a member for. Also those secret drops where I've been dropping Yeezys for like 50 bucks, Jordans for like 20 bucks, Jordans for $100, and thanks for great discounts because basically whatever you guys put towards channel memberships, I put back in the form of discounts on sneakers for you guys, which is why I'm able to mark down those Yeezys, those brand new Yeezys to $50 or a dollar, whatever it is. So that's just my thank you to you guys for being channel members. And this is also a thank you as well. So let's get into the monthly Q&A, man. Ask Untied, let's see what we got. Now, number one is from Marv Reckless. It looks like he has a three month badge. He's a Jordan 1 Chicago, I think that's three months. Very cool, man. Uh, he asked, not sure if this is good for a Q&A, but I know that you work out and I'm into lifting as well. And I was wondering if you would ever make a video or vlog of you at the gym working out and what workouts you do. Now, that's kind of a long question, um, but I mean, yes, you're right, I do work out. Um, I've been going to the gym, I think, for like the last eight years or something like that. But my splits, I think, currently are about four to five days a week now. Um, I'm not sure if I'd ever make a full on like video or vlog of like working out and stuff because it's kind of a little bit different than the content that I typically make. But it is something that I might look into because I mean, I wear shoes at the gym. So I guess that's a good like segue into working out at the gym and actually using the shoes that you cop, right? But I think currently right now, the way that I do my splits is I have a chest day chest and tries, back and bicep, shoulders. Shoulders is by itself because shoulders is my favorite workout day. Leg day, obviously, and then if I have time for that fifth day, that will be like abs and extended cardio. Extended cardio would be like six to eight mile runs, um, but I think for the other four days, usually I try to hit at least two miles each day as well, so after I finish a workout, run for two miles, man, gotta get that cardio in. Um, so yeah, that's my typical split. If I'm ever gonna film that, I'm not sure if you guys are interested, but let me know in the comments if you guys want to see that kind of stuff because working out is definitely a huge passion of mine and it is something that I would like to share with you guys if you guys are interested. And it actually segues into question number two pretty well because it's asking from Angel Hernandez, who is a YouTuber that you'd like to collab with that's not in the sneaker scene? So I was watching a bunch of like fitness YouTubers for a long time and one of those fitness YouTubers was Goku Flex. And what's cool is that Goku Flex actually moved back to Hawaii, he was in New York for a while. Um, so we've been hanging out and stuff and conversing and we do want to collab on a video soon so we're going to try to figure out how to make that work so if you guys did want to see workout videos then i'm sure in that video with goku flex he will force me to work out with him which would be weird for my content but makes a lot of sense on his channel so that's something you guys can expect in the future we're working on it and so here's another six month member and one of the homies, Edison Dogdagon, he asks, you ever thought about making other content besides unboxing videos? Also, I just realized I hit a six month badge, been with you for half a year now, that is incredible, bro. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, dude. Really, really appreciate you. And this actually pairs well with another member that we have over here, Chef Sid. What's the end game for you? Like, where do you hope this YouTube and reselling takes you? Now, both of those pair together because I don't want to do unboxing videos forever. Like. It's fun, I really love opening up sneakers with you guys and stuff, and it is very, very like cool and interesting, and it's some way that I can engage with you guys, but I feel like I have more to offer people than just opening up boxes of shoes. I do wanna share like my life experiences with you guys, share like what I know in life, and just try to help people as best as I can, because I do have a heart for like helping people. Like, you guys know that I'm a counselor, I love helping people, and if there's some way that I can implement that into the channel, I would love to do that. So to answer Edison's question, yes, there is things that I wanna do other than unboxing videos. I just haven't really mapped out how I wanna implement those yet. And that won't be for like until way down the line. So don't worry guys, sneakers aren't going anywhere. That's still the staple of this channel. Um, but to answer Chef Sid, my end goal for this reselling thing and like this YouTube thing is I wanna try to get to a place where I can have like a different kind of content on the channel. And then even beyond YouTube, I'm hoping like as a long-term goal, that I could potentially like work in the marketing realm or something like that because I do like working in that marketing side, like behind the scenes stuff, you know, like getting advertisers, working with different creators. Like, I think that's all very, very cool. And I mean, with social media like booming, that's kind of the direction that like everything is going. So I think it makes sense. So 
that's kind of what I'm looking for for that. Very good questions there, man. It's not only sneakers, there's gonna be more stuff as well. So I guess the Untitled Hana is like on the same wavelength because I have three like relatively similar questions. So I'm gonna pull all of these up at the same time. This question though is from Illis Barber, another six month member, dang, that's really dope. What's your favorite hobby other than YouTube? AWG Gaming, what other hobbies are you involved in? Instruments, arts? And that actually segues into the third question and my answer for those first two questions from Eric Irvas. Simple question, do you have any book recommendations? Now that is my favorite hobby hobby other than like working out and YouTube and stuff is I love reading guys like as a kid I was literally like living in the library like almost every single day like I used to live in Las Vegas right and there was a library like two miles from my house I would get on my rollerblades roll down the hill all the way to the library get there super fast and then literally stay in the library for like hours and hours reading books just checking out books doing a whole bunch of stuff and then trucking it two miles uphill on my rollerblades back home so yeah man reading is great and for eric any book recommendations um because i know this is a sneaker channel and i know a lot of you guys have that common interest you guys need to check out shoe dog now shoe dog is phil knight phil knight is the owner of nike his book and his like autobiography i guess but it's written in such an easy to read way that you learn so much about like the history of nike and just like their impact on the world of shoes he started off as a reseller like he was selling onitsukas and that is how he started off his business now that is super sick resellers can turn into nike i guess but yeah it's a different level um so that's one book recommendation also anything from malcolm gladwell as well he's like a psychology kind of writer and stuff he has like things like David and Goliath, Outliers, The Tipping Point, Blank. There's so many and they're just very all really good ways to like read because it's engaging, but it also teaches you like these concepts of psychology and stuff. Also, see like I'm always prepared with books, dude. I have a whole bunch of these. Like this is just like four. I have like a whole bunch in my closet and stuff as well. What do I have here? Top Dog, The Science of Winning and Losing. This is also a very good book. Basically what it shows is like how this their psychology in sports and why people are like so driven to win and why people don't want to lose. Very cool book right there. Moonwalking with Einstein, The Art and Science of Remembering Everything, New York Times bestseller by Joshua Four. This is another good book, man. Very cool stuff on how to like improve your memory. And the last one is Quiet, The Power of Introverts in a World That Can't Stop Talking. Now, as myself, I am an introvert, so this was a really enlightening book. So those are some recommendations right there. Maybe we'll start up an untied book club. I don't know. That could be in the works. Who knows? Okay. And now we can move into some NBA questions. I know a lot of people want to know like my take on basketball and whatnot. Simple question, grumpy monk. Uh, who is winning the NBA championship this year? <laughs> That's a no brainer, dude. New Orleans Pelicans. JJ Redick, dude. He's going to lead the league in scoring this year. He's probably not. JJ is just my favorite player and I hope that he does well this year. Realistically though, Clippers looking sweet. Kawhi. He's unstoppable. That would be where my money is. I'm just saying, Clippers. And it's funny because that segues into a different NBA question by Ethan Gibson. He asks, who will be your new favorite NBA player once JJ Redick retires? I don't like to think about that. That is my worst nightmare, man. JJ Redick retiring. He's gonna play forever, dude. He's gonna play forever. Um, but that's hard to say because I think he has at least four or five years, I hope, left in him. It, it's hard to say because you never know who the young and up and coming guy is gonna be in that span of time. I am hoping that I'm gonna follow Zion's career because he is on the Pelicans with Zion right now. So probably end up loving that guy by default. And yeah, I'm not too sure. That's a good question, but we'll see once he retires. We're not thinking about that just yet though, man. And now the last question for today's video is from Tanner Murphy who asked, if you could give a person one single sentence of advice, what would that sentence be? There's actually two different answers that I could give for this Tanner. I know you guys only asked for one sentence, but it depends on where your guys is like, I guess, thinking lies. One of them is grounded on like my faith, my religion. Um, and that's actually right over here, tattooed on my arm. Proverbs 3, 5, 6. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understandings. In all of your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. That's just basically saying trust in the Lord, man. Like, like he's there to provide for you, man. And he's going to take care of you. And like, you can try to like, rely i guess on like worldly thinking and stuff but that's not what you should be focusing on because we can't explain everything in the world whereas god can and the trust in god is what is will take you to like new heights and stuff so that's the word that i live by and that's the first tattoo that i ever got actually so mini tattoo video right there for you i know a lot of people asking about that and from like a non like christian perspective because i know a lot of you guys aren't christian behind the camera and i'm not trying to turn you guys christian so that's why i'm separating these into two different things but my one piece of advice on that other side would be um, something that my grandma always told me, it's to be humble and to no shame the name. 
It's like pigeon Hawaiian English. My grandma Maggie is Filipino and she's definitely like lived in Hawaii her whole life. So yeah, be humble and no shame the name. Basically, um, it's always remembering about where you come from, man. Like everybody comes from somewhere. And I know not everybody's in like a good family situation where maybe some people aren't proud of their last name, but if you're not proud of your last name and you're not proud of your heritage, then at least be proud of like your first name and be proud of who you are, you know? Like you are a unique individual and you need to like, cherish that and you need to like not bring shame to that you know like do the best you can be the best person you can be be somebody that won't be embarrassed of who they are you know like i am bryson honjo i really care about that honjo name i don't want to put any shame on that so i do my best to live my life like you know i i want to exemplify that name and be that person that my grandma wants me to be and stuff so that's where my thinking is for that and that's why at the end of every single video like for every video i've ever done on this channel I think I've ended it with stay humble, stay blessed, take care. Um, because staying humble is so important, man. Because you also need to like know that a lot of people get caught up in being the biggest flexor, get caught up in like, you know, the clout and stuff. And I've just never seen like myself or wanted that for other people, you know, like it's cool if you have a whole bunch of money. It's cool if you have a nice car, cool if you have nice sneakers, but I mean, you don't need to brag about it and you don't need to like belittle people because they don't have things like that because the thing is is like not a lot of people can afford a 200 dollars pair of shoes at retail and an even smaller number than that can't afford a thousand dollar pair of sneakers so it's not about like bragging and stuff and that's like what i try to like exemplify to others like just stay humble man it's cool you got it you don't need to flaunt it it's cool anyway that is my last piece of advice for you guys and i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for being channel members and if you guys do want to join that channel membership and ask your own questions so you guys can be featured on this episodes then hit that join button down below anyway my voice is dying these are always the worst videos for me because i'm literally talking for like it's like 30 minutes straight now i'm gonna cut out a lot of that but it's a long time anyway thank you so much for watching and until next time guys stay humble stay blessed take care i will see you on the next video aloha shoots